Eight wives? Yeah, just leaving um, Ledge Point. I uh, just stopped in here for the night, catch up with some mates. Yeah, just gonna hook the van up, um, pack up a bit of stuff and get going. Uh, I got 400 odd Ks today to get to Port Greggs and we've got some mates driving up at the moment and a few more coming over the next couple of days. So we'll have a big group of friends up there, which will be pretty good for a week. And yeah, see how we go. The other side of Geraldton and we've got 90 k's to go. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pull into the 440, which is my usual hot spot for um, heat waves. And we tried the Donga Dongora um, IGA, and they had heat waves. Not big enough. You shouldn't have such big feet, you fucking clown. Maybe last hope. Where to send them yet? True. Yeah. All right, we'll check anyway. Uh, a little bit of a backstory on this exact spot at the 440 is a couple of years ago in the old Triton, we pulled up for fuel, towing the boat, uh, the trail craft in this exact spot. Pulled up, we're heading to Exmouth, went to hit the key nothing it had uh, literally blown the balance shaft belt just as we we're rolling in we didn't know and it grabbed into the uh, time belt and pretty much knackered the engine and we had to put it on a tow truck and my mate was behind me grabbed the uh, boat and with his four-wheel drive continued on the journey we hired a car and the show went on and uh, Triton had to get truck back to Perth and um, my cousin ended up fixing it and sorting it out. Not too many months later, we sold it and bought this. So uh, we didn't want to say anything when we rolled up into the same car park, but um, the car started, which is always a bonus. Heat waves? Oh no. Oh well. None at all. That's not good. No. 440 let us down. Big time. Oh, it's not my favourite anymore. Mm. How is this off-road trailer? That is bloody. We got the freezer up there. Uh, maybe I should disconnect the. Um, well, she's done a few miles. What a weapon! Not good that it's not attached to anything. Yeah. Maybe I should leave in my caravan. <laughs> so, I owe you. Set up the van, uh, just got to offload the tinny, uh, I might just chuck it 
back here for now. Last time we are here, we are over the back over there and the sites were that small we had to leave the tinny over in the um, overflow area. But uh, the cables they'll set up there and then we'll have enough, um, have enough spaces to put the tinny uh, right next to us. Which will be good, so I'll grab that off the D-Max now. Uh, just so I got some solar coming in on the um, into the fridge. We are down at the beach. Yeah, just come down here for a bit of a swim and uh, a beer. Because that's what you do. Sunset is pretty sweet, I think. How crazy is the sunset? We've um, came down for a beer, but um, yeah, we got that. That was pretty cute. What moon have we got there, Kelly? Um, uh, my powers of deduction. <laughs> uh, waxing crescent. Oh, waxing crescent. So we're heading for a half moon. Okay. And what will that do to the tides? Yeah. Yeah. Look me go. I'm a <laughs> fucking genius. Yeah, this morning just um, cooking a bit of brekkie, breaking our rules and having some um, cooked brekkie on a Friday. And Kel's just in there doing a bit of work and stuff. And probably just go down the beach for a bit of a drive, uh, probably around lunchtime or so, early Arvo, and go for a bit of a fish with the cables. Um, and we'll see if we can get the kids onto a fish or something. Oh my god! I saw it! I will get two. One of each. Yeah, it's only 12 or 13. I'll probably go 12, I reckon. Oh yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> Pretty excited. <laughs> It's Christmas! Wendy came down and found heat waves and um, so I went and bought out all their um, size 12s. <laughs> uh, now you got two or oh, going out pair and a spare everyday pair. Spare going out pair. Going out red pair and another daily wearing pair. <laughs> it's like Christmas. So happy. Maybe blue could be going out pair now. Nah. Why? No. It's prettier. No. Red's going out there. And um, we've probably been to 20 IGA stores in the last <laughs> six months trying to find them. Everyone's got everything but. So, yeah, pretty good day. Yeah, Wendy's on the game now. Look at that. 
<laughs> Kelly, not so much. Boring. Hey, Mum. Yeah, four layers <laughs> Stop on your Stop encouraging shoes. him, Wendy. You have four layers yep. on your shoes. Yep. Uncle Jed, you only have five. Oh, you, no, he's got four as well. Oh, have I? No, layers. no, you've got a second. Uh, that's, that's what the going out pair has. See, it's got that extra stripe. Extra stripe in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got um new going out pair. Spare going out slash everything. A new daily footwear. Okay. We're just gonna load some beers up. Got the flickies in and head down the beach for a little fish, a little arvo fish. Should have been filming that. I just about got bogged and ended up in the water. Now I'm just doing a Yui. Uh, yeah, it gets a little tight down there and a little bit on an angle. Max tracks were deployed. Uh, I've done a Yui. Let's see if I can go back. We'll go the other way. <laughs>
<laughs> Not that steep. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You did it. Who's gonna carry the boats? <laughs> Boat crew too. You don't know me, son. <laughs> uh, this morning we got a bit of omelette in a bag going on here. Some bit of bacon, a bit of milk, three eggs, and a bit of cheese. Give it a uh, 15 minutes or so. Float along in that. And you use the water for a cup of tea. And today Tristo's bringing the uh, Weber around. He bought up yesterday and I've got a um, rolled pork roast, is it? A pork shoulder and we're going to put that on the rotisserie later in the Arvo because that'll only take um, maybe three hours. I think he got about a five kilo brisket four or five kilo uh, from Pete's Chop Shop so we've got permission from the caravan park to be able to do a brisket in the Weber so Tristo's a bit of a master at that so he's gonna set up soon I think it'll take about eight hours or so and here comes the rain that clears the kids out a little bit of rain 